Okay, welcome to part two. Uh, and this bit, we've now we've brought up these uh, three VMs. We've now got to go through and do some um, configuration. Okay, let's go into here first. Let's do a show interfaces. See how we're doing. All three are up, as we'd expect. Okay, now let's do some troubleshooting as to which one is bound to which. So land segment there is currently going to home. If I untick uh, disconnected, sorry, untick connected, and hopefully that should disconnect inside. Let's just check. And it has. So we can connect that again. Don't worry about the fact that um, that the ETH0 has just picked up an, uh, an IP address in the same range. The reason it's done that is because all of these have exactly the same configuration and the configuration here is that the inside address has had DHCP bound to it so the same addresses we're pushing out here has now been pushed out here so therefore this one has received it. Okay, so let's check that this is connected to home and it is Let's see what IP address this is currently getting. Okay, and I'm guessing that it should be able to ping 192.168.10.1. Okay, let's get rid of the uh, outside interface on here first of all, because that's not going to help it at all. So if I do show uh, interfaces and Ethernet, ETH0, you should see it's currently got DHCP. Helps if I'm in configuration mode. Show interfaces, ETH, ETH0. And you can see there it's got address DHCP. So if I delete interface, Ethernet, ETH0 address, and if I set interface ETH0 address, and I'm going to set in this to 213.123.10.50, and I believe that's slash 24. And if I commit that, okay, how about now? Doesn't quite work yet. find out why that's not working yet so show interfaces so we can see there the uh, 192.168.10.1 has the right address but at the moment this pinging doesn't seem to be working so we're connected to home that's good Let's do a disconnect. Just check that it is actually the right one. I know we've already done this before, but it helps double check. Okay, so outside interface is right, and at the moment our inside interface is down. Let's connect it again. There you go, that's up. There we go, it started pinging. Okay, um, next thing, let's set up the internet box uh, and the first thing that we need to do is uh, delete the service of DHCP. So as you can see we've got outside and inside there. So uh, the inside is definitely wrong. So let's do set interface ETH. This is ETH1. And we're going to set the description of that to ISP. Let's go into that and set the... Because we have to remember we have to set the IP address to here. Which is dot .200. So it should be 213.123.10.200. So let's do that. Let's delete the current one it has. Delete interface... Ethernet, ETH1, address, 
and set interface eth eth one address uh, and we're going to be setting this to 213.123.10.200 slash 24 um, now if I do show service NAT you can see that the source address is that which we need to change so set service NAT it's rule 10 source address we're going to set this to 213.123.10.0/24 and the reason we're doing that of course is because this machine is is doing network address translation this way so it's from this network out here okay can we reach the internet and we can so let's save now let's go on to the home box. Can we ping the router that we just set up, which was 200, and we can. Do we have internet access? I'm just pinging open DNS here. And we don't. Network is unreachable because I'm guessing we don't have any, if I do run show IP route, you'll see there we don't have a default route so let's do set protocol static route and we want that and we want the next hop to be 213.123.10.200 let's commit that now let's see if we can ping out good so all things being equal we can still ping that we should also now be able to ping 200 and then we should also be able to ping if everything's working right the internet and let's see if name resolutions working and it is which now means we have internet access So now we have internet access from here all the way through and out. Okay, uh, next stage, let's load up um, router one, which we're going to be doing a lot of our configuration on. And while we wait for that to load, I shall pause the video. <laughs> 